we are given sets A, B, C, and D, and if the universal set is a set containing the elements one, two, three, all the way through 10, and we're asked to find the following sets. For number one, we have A union B. A union B is the set containing the elements in A, or the elements in B, or the elements in both. Analyzing the elements in set A and set B, all of the elements in B are also elements in A, and therefore A union B is just equal to set A, which is a set containing one, two, three, four, five, six. These six elements are in set A or in set B or in both. We can also think of the union of two sets as combining the two sets, but we don't list elements more than once. For number two, we have A intersect B. A intersect B is a set containing the elements that are in set A and set B. So again, analyzing set A and set B, notice the elements of two, four, and six are the elements that are in set A and set B. A intersect B is a set containing the elements two, four, and six. Number three, we have B intersect C. This is the set containing the elements that are in set B and set C. So analyzing set B and set C, notice two is the only element that is in set B and set C. B intersect C is the set containing the element two. Again, this is the only element in both B and C. Number four, we have A intersect D which would be the set containing the elements that are in both set A and set D. We'll notice A contains the elements one, two, three, four, five, six. Set D contains the elements seven, eight, nine. There are no elements that are in set A and set D. A intersect D is equal to the empty set since there are no common elements. Number five, we have the complement of B union C which is the set containing the elements that are not in set A or set B. Well, let's first find B union C, which are the elements that are in set B or set C or in both. So analyzing set B and set C, the elements in set A or set B or both are the elements one, two, three, four, and six. And now to find the complement of B union C, we need to find the elements in the universal set that are not in B union C. Well, the integers one through 10 that are not in the set containing one, two, three, four, six is the set containing the elements five, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So the complement of B union C is the set containing five, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. 5, 7, 8, 9, 10 are the elements that are not in the set B union C. Number six, we have A minus B. This is the set containing the elements in A, but not in B. So analyzing set A and set B, the elements in A, but not in B, are the elements one, three, and five. The set containing one, three, five is A minus B. And again, this is because the elements one, three, five are in A, but not in B. This is the same as A intersect B complement. And now let's look at number seven, which is probably the most involved problem. We have the union of D intersect C complement and the complement of A intersect B. Let's first determine D intersect C complement. This is the set containing the elements in D and not in C. Analyzing sets D and C, the elements that are in D and not in C would just be the elements in D, which is a set containing seven, eight, nine. So the set containing the elements seven, eight, nine is D intersect C complement. And now let's determine the complement of A intersect B. Well, earlier we found A intersect B to be the set containing two, four, six, and therefore the complement of A intersect B would be the elements in the universal set that are not in the set containing two, four, and six, which would be the set containing one, three, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these elements again are not in A intersect B. 
now that we have D intersect C complement and the complement of A intersect B, we now need to find the union of these two sets. And the union is the set containing the elements that are in either set or both sets. So again, if we think of combining these two sets, the union of these two sets will be the set containing 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the final answer for number seven is a set containing the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. Number eight, we have the empty set union C, which are the elements in the empty set or set C or in both. The empty set does not add anything to the union and therefore the empty set union C is just equal to C, which is the set containing the elements one, two, and three. Number nine, we have the empty set intersect C. This set contains the elements in the empty set and set C, but the empty set doesn't have any elements and therefore the empty set intersect set C is equal to the empty set. I hope you found this helpful.